Hey guys, so I recently posted this image here, which is basically a infographic starring myself. Um, so I created this so that I could put it on my website and when people came to my about page they could get to know more about me and what it is that I do. So on it, it says a few things like I'm planning a wedding to an Aussie, that I'm an online course creator, and that I'm from Toronto, Canada, but currently living in Bali, Indonesia. There's a few other things on it if you're curious, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So when I posted it, I got a few questions about how I did it, so that's what I'm going to show you in today's video, how you can easily create your own infographic. And you can do what I did and make it all about you, or this can just be for regular infographic purposes. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about building your online business. So if that's something that you are doing, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right guys, so the tool that we're going to use for this is Canva, which is a free graphic design tool that makes designing graphics like this incredibly easy, even if you've never done it before. So when you log in, this is what you are going to see. All you need to do is scroll down to where it says infographic and just click on that. And then you will see all these gorgeous professional templates that you can customize for your own brand. So if you scroll down, you can see that there is quite a variety. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is find one that is as close to what you were looking for as possible. So I really like this one. I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm gonna zoom in just by hitting this little plus sign here. Okay, so now what you can do is you can customize every element on the page. So for example, if I wanted to change the color of this Instagram icon, I could do that. I just need to go up here, click on the color swatch, and then click the plus sign. And you can either decide between uh, selecting a color from the color wheel or adding in your hex code here. And with the text, same rules apply. You can just type in your own text here. So just double click on it and then type that in. And with these different elements here, I'm gonna just click each section that I want to customize. So as you can see, I have some of my brand colors in here already. So I'm just going to click on each element, go up to the color area and customize it for my brand. Then with icons, sometimes you'll be able to change all of the colors, but not always. Um, but for this one, I can. So again, I'm going to change this to my brand colors instead. Okay, awesome. So I would go ahead and do this for all of the material here. So you might be thinking that mine looked quite a bit different, uh, especially because it was in a square shape, which is completely true. This is one of the reasons that I recommend you use Canva for work. Canva for work is the paid plan that is $12.95 per month, but it gives you quite a few advanced features that are really helpful. One of which is the ability to change your dimensions of any of your designs. So for example, I can head over to where it says file. I can click change dimensions and I can either resize to the correct dimensions for an Instagram post or a Pinterest graphic, or I can just go up here and click use custom dimensions. So for this, I'm just going to change it to a square and I'll just do 2000 by 2000 pixels and click resize. All right, so let me zoom out. Now, as you can see, it is a square shape and now you would just move the elements around to fit into a square. So for example, you can either, um, this is important to note, you can either grab them one at a time like this or you can highlight them all at the same time and move all of them over. So that often saves me a fair amount of time. <laughs> all right, so I would move those elements around. Same with this text at the top. Let's say I wanted to move that there. And then I wanted to take this first section. I could do that, move that over. Just make sure that they are all highlighted. And this is how you would get more of that square design. 
All right, but you might want to add quite a bit more than this. So that's totally fine. Um, and if you can't find a template that you like, you can also just start from scratch. But what we're going to do is now add in some other elements. So for example, if I go up here, I'm going to pretend that I'm creating an infographic about social media. Let's say that I wanted to grab a phone icon. I'm gonna go over here and type in phone icon. And all these different options are going to appear. So we can add one of these as well. So let's say we wanted to add this. We can do that, just resize. And that will also fill the space. So basically what I did in order to achieve the look of mine is I just added in quite a few different elements. And I also made use of arrows. So if you go up here, you can type in arrow and all these different arrows are going to appear. So basically it's whatever you can think of. So I can just add in an arrow. And you can also upload any images that you want. If you click over here on uploads, you can click upload your own images. And that's how I was able to get the photo of me in there. So you can do that. You can add icons. You can really, with Canva, you can type in anything that you could want. So for example, if you wanted a speech bubble, you can type that in, which I made use of in mine. So you can click on that resize whatever you can think of just type it in and you can also head over and click elements and you'll see a few different shapes that you can choose from lines illustrations they've categorized some of these elements for you so make sure to check out this area as well so let me try a few more things related to social media um, let's say I wanted to do some hearts because you know when you heart things on social media um, so let's say I wanted to add this one. It's added it in white. I head over to my swatch, change it to one of my brand colors. Awesome, add that in. And now I'm just going to speed this up and show you how I would create this one. So all I'm doing here is changing the colors of all of the different elements. And then I'm dragging them into position as well. After this, if you just type in different numbers to the search bar, you'll also get a few numbered icons. So you can add those in as well if you would like. Then I'm doing a bit of resizing. So this is all very simple drag and drop type functionality. Then I'm adding in a few more icons related to social media. So all you need to do is type in whatever you want into the search bar. And of course, I'm adding some arrows to this as well. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel because this Thursday, I'm also going to be posting a, another tutorial on Canva, which I think will really help you guys and speed up your workflow. All right, so that's it. This is the final product. So basically what we did was we just made use of the infographic templates, resized it for whatever dimensions we wanted, and different types of graphic elements to customize it and make it our own. And then when you're done, all you need to do is click download. Make sure that the file type is PNG, click download, and then you're just going to open that up. And that's it. If you have any questions at all about creating an infographic in Canva, just leave them for me in the comments and I'll get back to you there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. If you liked it, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting subscribe. And I would love to see any infographics that you create. So after you do, make sure to leave a link for me in the description below so that I can come and check them out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.